guys, it's week five. Week five of the Beethoven series. I'm so glad you're here. And let's go ahead and play this music. Pages 12 and 13 this week. I'll talk about afterwards and also uh, talk about plans for cadenza and the next movements. <laughs> question is asked, will I play the cadenza? And the answer is not this week, but yes. week I was practicing and recording pages 12 and 13 and these are the last two pages of the first movement. So we see lots of things we've seen before motifically and some really beautiful moments, um, perhaps one of my favorite moments in the whole first movement. So let's talk about last week's goals. They were to create new ideas behind motives. And I would say I did this, but I need to implement this more. It's so abstract for me. It's like, did I do this? Did I not? I was definitely thinking about what is this section like? Like the very beginning of page 12 is very playful and busy. And then I love the triplets in 473 and 474 those they really feel like they all need to just cascade or like melt into each other um 
and the trills, I was definitely wanting to convey those as more playful, which actually helped me play them better. That was cool. And yeah, then I was just terrified for the end. <laughs> So yes, for this coming week, I do want to take the time to write in at least three musical ideas in my music. Second goal was to play lots and lots of octaves, but make it fun. I think this, this goal needs to just kind of go away for a little bit. Yeah, I think I, I think I failed on this. I did play a lot of octaves and I have been playing a, around a lot with bow distribution and um, weight in both hands, but it's not, it doesn't really seem to be serving me. So I think I'm gonna let that, let that one go. Um, okay, and then the last goal was to run all of movement one cold at the beginning of each practice session. Oh my gosh, so I totally did this, and um, I mean, with the exception of maybe one practice session. All right, but I was really good about like, okay, run it from the beginning. And I've gotta say guys, I have to practice more. I have to allow more time for this project because at the beginning it was like two pages, not a big deal. I can do this in about 30 to 40 minutes each day. My strategy will not work for an entire concerto. Learning two pages every week is awesome for learning new music, but it's not awesome for maintaining other music. Do I have an answer to this problem? Not necessarily, but I'm aware of it. So that's the first step, right? Knowing you have a problem. So this is the problem, and I'm kind of curious what the solution will be. I've been playing around with a couple different ideas, especially for approaching the last two movements. One of the ideas is to actually kind of front load the rep learning. So instead of making it even two pages a week, instead to make it like maybe four pages week one, three pages week two, two pages week three, and then you're adding less and less new material, so you have more of an opportunity to review the old material. Not sure, so I mean, one of the coolest things about this whole thing for me is I get to create this process and analyze it along the way and see how it's helping me, if it is. And that's really fun. It's just so much fun to tweak it and see I'm such a lazy person, and I'm also a very perfectionistic person, so I don't want to work harder than I have to, but I want to get a really great result. And so to couple those two things is fascinating. I have to do a run through of movement one, recorded and uploaded. That needs to happen. And then also this cadenza, folks, this beautiful cadenza. I'm looking at the Chrysler one. I've started it and it's it's a treat. Third page I haven't learned yet and the first two pages are in process. So I think my plan for this week is to upload two recordings, one midweek and one my usual next Monday. Um, and one will be the cadenza and one will be the whole first movement without the cadenza. We'll see what I can pull together. But this is all under the label of a review week and I'm still learning a lot of new music. It's just, there's a lot to keep up with. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome to think here we are at the end of movement one and I feel like I am a much better player than even a couple weeks ago. So that progress is really uh, exhilarating. Goals for this coming week. I've been using the metronome a ton. I want to say for this week, I want to incorporate more metronome bow only practice. That seems to accelerate my learning. So metronome bow only practice, write in three new musical ideas. Um, and then, yeah, I think it's just this week is going to be a lot of playing. I think I'm going to have to find more practice time. I'm doing a lot of things technically better. I feel like my shifts are improving, my intonation and my accuracy is improving, my tempo consistency is improving with or without the metronome, um, and my tone is pretty happy. I do need to change my strings, but my fiddle is still sounding pretty happy, so yeah. All right, so I think that's it for week five. Week six is going to be a doozy, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I have loved hearing 
from different people who've checked this out. And yeah, if this makes you want to practice, that's amazing. I respect for violinists that keep multiple concerti under their fingers. It's like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? It's amazing. I think they have different brains. I think they're just not human. <laughs> but um, all right, cool. So until next week.